I watch a lot of content on YouTube about books, and one of my favourite channels on YouTube.com is Alison Pages. I just really don't think there's anyone on the platform, or at least that I've seen, that makes content like Ali. So I'm not going to bother introducing this video because you've seen the title, you've clicked on this video. Let's just crack on. Now, the first question I asked myself when I came up with this video idea was, do we have similar book taste? I think we have similar taste in fantasy. Exhibit A, the Poppy War Trilogy by R.F. Kwong. I think we have the same taste in magical realism. Exhibit B, Lonely Castle in the Mirror, probably Ali's favourite book of all time, and one of my favourite books of the year, thanks to Ali. I think our tastes differ in young adult realistic fiction and also literary fiction. Exhibit C, Radio Silence by Alice Oseman, one of my favourite books of all time, but one that Ali didn't like. We both like Heartstopper though, so it's fine. When picking books for this video, I really want to encapsulate all of the little categories that I think describes Ali's book taste. Category 1, philosophical books that celebrate mundanity. How do you live by Genzaburo Yoshino, which is a philosophical journey of a young boy guided by his uncle, which is soon going to become a Studio Ghibli movie. Category 2, magical realism novels that tend to centre children as the protagonists. This is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, which is about a boy with an ill mother being visited by a monster who will tell him three stories and then will ask for his. And finally, Category 3, Memoir. This is Crying in H Mart by Michelle Zorna, and it recounts the year that her mother died. This book made Ali cry, and I'm pretty nervous because I don't normally read memoirs. <laughs> But I finished. How do you live? I, I thought it was good. I didn't love it. I was expecting to enjoy it more than I did. But it was a nice book. I'd probably give it like 3.5 stars out of 5. I mean, that whole rating system is really lacks nuance. So I probably wouldn't actually rate it. But between you and me, it's a 3.5. I found myself caring about the characters more than I initially thought. It made me think, not not deeply, but, but I thought, sometimes the writing could be a little bit jarring because it would just, we'd be in this like third person narration and then suddenly like the narrator would become aware of the audience and I found that a little bit strange and it, it didn't read very smoothly, but that's a, that's a sort of odd criticism, but I'm going to move on to A Monster Calls now and it's going to be a lot less inspiring and uplifting than How Do You Live, I'm sure. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and then I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Bully with charisma and top marks is still a bully. She sighed, annoyed. He'll probably end up prime minister one day. God help us all. True. Straight facts. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Great success. This. It didn't make me cry, but it made me think that I could cry from a book. If the ending had been slightly rephrased, maybe I would have cried. But anyway, I'm really impressed. I don't know what I, like rating I would give the book. Maybe it's like a 4.5, they're saying that maybe I should give it a 5. So I understand why it wasn't. In order for me to give it 5 stars, like become a favourite book in my mind, it needed to have a little bit more plot, but I understand that that's not that wasn't the intent of the book, it's just my personal 
thoughts and take on it. Patrick Ness had me caring about the characters from the very, very early on in the book, which is hard to do. The writing was good. All of the characters' actions and everything just felt really believable and yeah, it was really good and really moving. Success. This book smells weird, kind of like plastic or like being cute, which is like a DIY shop. If you didn't know. I finished this last night after I watched The Force Awakens on TV. <laughs> this was... Where do we begin? I think the weakest parts of this book were the beginning and the end, or at least in my opinion in terms of my enjoyment and engagement. But when we were actually covering Michelle's mum's battle with cancer, I couldn't stop turning the page. I knew it was going to happen, but I didn't know when, and that <laughs> that made me just really want to just keep reading. I mean, it's, it's, it's horrible, like it was horrible to read about it, but I was very, very interested. I knew I was reading about this experience rather than being like right in the mind of Michelle's honor, but that's no service to the book and to Michelle's own experience. <sighs> Rating non-fiction is the weirdest thing to do because what right do I have to judge someone else's experiences and to put a rating scale onto it? Like, if I do that, it, it would only be because of my enjoyment of it, not, not my enjoyment of a person's experience because that's just ridiculous. Earlier in the video I said that I wasn't really interested in memoirs. Has my opinion on that changed? Mm. I mean, I would recommend this book. Uh, I really liked how it was written, but I didn't necessarily connect. With this is the woo, final ranking. We have Crying in H Mart, which I, I would probably give like three out of five if I were to rate it. How Do You Live, which I gave 3.5, I believe. And then we have what's basically a new favourite, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, the biggest success out of this video. I think I have discovered my niche when it comes to Ali's recommendations. Magical realism centering mostly children as protagonists. Do I think I will take some more of Ali's recommendations on board? If I already have an interest in them, yes. I think that's everything. Thank you for watching, unless you just skipped to the end of this video to find out what I thought about these books. Oh, anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe. Please like this video. Do all of those sort of things, please. And I shall see you in the next video. I did not intend for that to sound creepy at all.